What's up, America? Neil here from Jogger Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do a video specifically about drawing your firearm if you're left-handed. So this will apply for both right-handers and left-handers, but specifically, I get a lot of questions on left-hand usage and left-hand in a car, so let's get to it. So here's the deal, you guys uh, ask a lot of questions and that's good, but if you really want me to answer one of your questions, it's, I'm always going to be more compelled to do so when I know that you had some effort, you tried it out yourself. I get questions like this all the time, like, well I'm a lefty, how am I going to pull my gun out? Well why would it matter? I mean unless you're 6'8 and you're driving a smart car, it's not going to make any difference. You would know that if you actually tried it. So I'm going to show you with the door open and then we're going to show you with the door closed. Just because you're in a smaller space isn't really going to make any difference. And neither will the seatbelt, which is a big question about everybody. What about the seatbelt? It's not going to be a big deal at all. Now obviously I don't have a left hand holster, so I just have my gun sitting here. Clearly you would all have a holster and so forth. And obviously the door is open so you can see this easily. And my seatbelt's off. We're going to put it all together and you're going to see it all as it unfolds, so don't worry. But the easiest unobstructed view, here I am, I'm in my car. The same rules apply if you guys watch my video about shooting from the car if you're a right-hander. I'm driving my car, whatever. Something is up, I'm gonna take my hand, pull my body forward, right? body forward and grab my gun. So this time I'm just gonna do the opposite. So I have my gun in my, uh, what would be my nine o'clock from my right hand, or my, uh, was it seven o'clock, uh, right? Four, yeah, seven, five, whatever. Same side on the left, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull myself forward, except the difference is I'm gonna do it with my right hand. So I pull my body forward, I grab my gun, I clear, just like I normally would, come out, get my grip, or wherever I gotta go, whatever I gotta do, what's the big deal? So, well, now let's do this with the seatbelt on, door closed, the whole nine yards. All right, Kim. So now we're going to go ahead and add the uh, seatbelt to this one. All right. All right, so walk us through this. I'm driving and there's some sort of threat. I'm going to pull myself up with my support hand so I can draw with my gun hand. And you can scan and assess. Good. Uh, did you find it that it's almost impossible because you're lefty? No. It's okay. just hard because I'm not used to it, but it, it's not impossible as far as like doing it if you were used to it. Alright, so we're going to, I'm going to show one little quick detail and then we're also going to show the door closed. Okay. Okay, now the same same situation. If I'm a righty and I'm in the passenger side, it would be the same scenario. I'm obviously going to be able to cover and shoot easy, uh, easier across my body, all right? Which if I'm in the passenger side, that's going to be the same thing as this, where I'm going to have to do something in order to, to cover areas to my side. So as a, as a pretend lefty, right, when I come up, obviously this area here is easy to cover, okay? But to cover this area or just behind this pillar here, that's going to require some movement on my part. All right. Now, one, you could in fact switch hands. Okay. There's no reason why you, with training as a right-hander, that I can't. If I was over there and I had to switch off hands and cover this area, especially at the distances that we're talking about. Obviously, we're very close. But also, you can use whatever. You can use the the hand grips or the steering wheel. Just make sure that we're not muzzling ourselves. Obviously, this is a training gun, but make sure we're not muzzling ourselves. So after we, we were able to draw this gun up, if we need to actually reposition ourselves, we can do that. But it's always going to be difficult to get past this pillar without actually either getting out through the window itself or switching hands. Tip, if, if I were over there as a right side, uh, obviously as a right hander, and I had to cover this space where the, where the door is, I'm going to transition off into my left. Okay? You can maneuver, it depends on the scenario. Over there, I don't have a steering wheel in the way. So I'm going to be able to move, uh, obviously, much much greater range. Keeping in mind, though, if I'm a passenger, somebody was obviously driving, so I'm not going to need to shoot necessarily straight across, but I may need to cover behind or whatever the case is. So depending on the scenario, and we could talk for two hours about different scenarios, especially in a car, when you've got a 360-degree range, you've got potentially uh, people at very close distances here that obviously we are trying to protect or obviously can't be... Uh, muzzling or pointing guns at so it adds a whole other element but just the concept of getting the, the gun out again because you're a lefty isn't going to prevent you from pulling this out nor with the seatbelt as a righty 
when I lean forward, the seat belt is at the base, way far away from my gun. Same thing on this side. When I lean forward, the seat belt is here, going down this way, okay, or up here. It's nowhere near where my gun is going to be. And then Kim's going to show you with the door closed. All right, Kim, so now we're going to give you the ultimate test. The door closed, seat belt on, mm -hmm. your lefty in the driver's side. This should be impossible, right? Let's see. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me climb up here. All right, go ahead. Do your thing. I'm going to pull it forward with my support hand, grab my gun. If I had That's to. impossible. It can't be done. Uh, YouTube says otherwise. <laughs> All right, Kim. So other than obviously it being awkward that you don't typically draw from your left or carry on your left, was there anything particularly difficult or unusual in this scenario? I didn't think so. Especially when, even as a righty, I if I had someone in the passenger seat, I'm not going to be flinging the gun all out anyway. So I didn't find the door in my way at all. And even though the door was closed. Mm -hmm. And your seatbelt was on. Did you have to take your seatbelt off like everyone claims you must do? Nope. Hey, let's try something real quick. Put your seatbelt on real quick. I just thought okay. of this. Yeah, that's good. Now put your uh, your support hand on your on your steering wheel there, and I want you to pull yourself forward as fast as you can. No, as fast as you can, literally. Okay. You mean the seatbelt didn't lock and keep you infused into the seat where you can't move? Nope. Hmm. That can't be right. The internet says otherwise about that as well. <laughs> So it seems like right or left handed, as long as we do the same process here and we mm -hmm. pull ourselves up and access our gun, everything is the same. That's right. Alright, just since you're watching it, for those that are right handed, which is still going to be most of you guys, I'm going to move this out of the way. We've done this before, but since we're here, I'll just put it all together. So a righty, again, no matter how fast I pull myself forward, I mean, I can't, other than looking stupid right now, there's really no way I can pull this fast enough to get the lock without doing that and there's no way I can physically move my body that fast so it's not gonna lock but let's just say that it did it's like oh I can't move I can move this far also I need I need to go from here to here and technically speaking all I'm trying to do is get enough room for my elbow just to get it up in the back that's it that's all the room I need I don't even have to move forward I'm just saying in a stress scenario you're gonna want to pull yourself forward to get access to that plus it allows me to see more about what's coming up from behind okay so I'm pulling myself forward, access my gun, boom, I'm out. Not at my body, and now I'm able to do whatever I'm going to have to do. Swing around, whatever direction i got to do, whatever it is. Okay, so right-handed, still works. Again, don't do this and muzzle yourself or your hand. You're coming out above two hands. you got to use a steering wheel, so be it. Okay, I'm going to go back, clear, back into our holster. That's it, man. That's the deal. So we're going to, some of the videos that are coming up, a uh, little spoiler alert. Uh, one of them is going to be how you, people are always asking me about what do I think about these guns, compartment storages, or can I put in the center console, or can I put it in my seat? Obviously, it's going to be state specific, but here in Ohio, yeah, you can put it anywhere you want. Um, this is, putting it somewhere that's not on your body, not a great idea. Uh, people have asked me, can I do this? Can I put it on the, the, the seat? Sure, you can, until you have to stop fast or someone hits you. And now it's on the ground and now you need it um, not a great idea and here's a cool one that's coming up just got my little optics planet deal actually in the driveway while we're doing this boom the wolverine the sight mark wolverine fsr uh red dot we're going to be testing this bad boy out and dun, 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 the spider co delica 4 this is probably one of the most popular uh i would say it's probably up there as one of the most popular knives ever sold a uh, quality knife anyway and so let's see oh there she is so we're gonna do reviews and all this stuff I've owned a lot of these in my in my time this is a, a great deal but that's what's coming up for you guys if you like this video please give us a thumbs up we always appreciate that you can follow us of course on YouTube on Facebook on Instagram and also follow us on patreon where you can see our exclusive patreon only premium videos and until next time remember it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.